Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex, and we got the April update key art. Now, it doesn't reveal any new characters, but it or any new uniforms or anything like that. No new secrets, no no uh, you know sneak peeks, so to speak. But they look amazing. Maker, Iron Man, and Professor X look absolutely fantastic. And I'll show you guys a you know zoomed in picture of it so we can talk about it there actually is a few clues tonight is the live stream the facebook live stream that's also on youtube with cage and kim we will be watching it on twitch so stop by twitch.tv slash cynic alex and check it out with us because you'll get the double whammy you actually get the triple whammy you get to watch the live stream you get to hear my irreverent comedy and, and commentary and then you also get the chat's input as well so hundreds of not hundreds of thousands thousands of people and me and Cajun Kim it's the total package baby in the in this in the well there's one clue at least in the key art but let's first read up read on to see what it says here from superheroes turned villains to the Lord of the underworld which would be Mephisto we celebrate the Marvel Universe uh, April anniversary which will be filled with various changes as well as the Marvel Future Fight six year anniversary. Check out the heroes and villains that will lead the celebration of our special anniversary. We are keep currently working hard on the update to keep up with the big changes. So please stay tuned. I don't know, man, big changes. So they, they had that sort of mini dev note letter of appreciation, and that seemed like it was already bringing some changes. But am I too optimistic to hope that other things are going to happen from big changes? I don't and I won't be speculating on what those big changes could be because I tend to uh, overhype myself, not overhype myself, but I, I tend to wonder too much and then um, my expectations get out of control, out of hand, and then inevitably either I'm disappointed or other people are disappointed or both. So I think so far the update seems fantastic. Huh? Get it? Fantastic, because a maker. And I uh, can't wait to see what they have in store, but it's really exciting to see them, you know, highlighting big changes and highlighting uh, that they're working on those changes and not just... Here's this shiny new character. Here's this shiny new thing. There's actually no new characters besides Mephisto right now anyways, which is honestly kind of nice. I said it back in January. I was wondering how I would feel if we went back to back to back with updates without a new character. And we haven't really done that. We got Null in January. We've got Icarus in February or March. And then we also got Cersei. But it feels different. Three characters in four months is very few or i guess four characters in four months with the addition of mephisto but it feels very different and i actually really like the direction the game is going i think the game is as good as it's ever been actually scratch that i think the game is better than it's ever been so if you're wondering what my opinion is and i actually get this question a lot but i actually have been getting this question a lot more lately because people see me in good spirits and they see me you know uh, in a good mood about the game and highlighting all these positive changes in the game so they come into the stream and they or they hit me up on twitter or YouTube and they in the comments are like hey should I return to this game I've been gone for x months or years even um is now a good time to come back obviously now now is a great time to come back anytime any game is having an anniversary it's a great time to jump back in because they're going to be giving out a ton of rewards so if you want to just log in for the month of April slurp up all the rewards get a free tier three and then see where it takes you you know that's a smart idea but I do genuinely think that MFF has been killing it uh, for the past few months with essentially zero mistakes i have a hard time stopping and thinking during this video and, and and picking apart one mistake that they've made like one major error they've made in 2021 no major bugs you know maybe the the worst thing was the mid-month we had one mid-month update where one like rogue's uniform wasn't purchasable for the first like half an hour but we've had that happen so many times that it's more about the difficulty of rolling out the patch around the world you know simultaneously and having it work for everybody um at the same time so yeah i really got to give it up to the devs they've really done a fantastic job now let's look at the key art here because there is one thing that i do want to highlight so the key art looks absolutely gorgeous i love space i love the planet theme so i love the background behind them i mean these characters are all super powerful and super cool iron man looks quite fresh i gotta say professor x looks amazing i also gotta say but the one that i am most hyped for right now at this moment i know professor x is my childhood dad but maker looks insane he looks so good that smile is so menacing that is exactly what we need more of like null right we need that creepy 
evil, that like pure evil that we've been sort of missing in the game. Uh, well, we, we've gotten it recently with Null and Mephisto, but before that we were sort of missing it in the game. So I really, really like that vibe and I like their embracing the reality of the character, right? They're not sugarcoating it. He's not going to be, well, presumably he's not going to be some watered down maker because maker is a psychopath, right? He's, he's like full fledged psycho horror house horror house i said h-o-r-r-o-r -R -R. i don't know what you heard but i said horror house and i'll say it again dang it so yeah maker looks amazing i have to say he looks bonkers now there's two things i want to point out one it's not as important but if you look closely at professor x's uh what are they called the um ah, i should have known what they were called beforehand i'm not i'm not a fancy dude but it's the it's the things it's the buttons, but they're not called buttons, but they go on. You know, you can get special fancy ones for your suits and you can swap them out for other ones. Kingpin in the Netflix series, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio's character, he had a bunch of very specific, special ones, specific ones. These ones remind me of my father, you know, and he would put them on or whatever. Um, yeah, he was also a nut job. Anyways, Professor X's, there's little X's for the X-Men. It's not a coincidence. They did that on purpose. So yeah, huge shout out. I'm pretty sure this is Nixel Cho, by the way. Apologies. I should have started off when highlighting the art. You gotta you gotta mention the artist, right? The artist, without the artist, the, this art is impossible to exist. So it's impossible for the art to exist. So Nixel Cho, guys. N-I-X-E-L-L -L -L space C-H-O. Nixel Cho, fantastic artist really amazing stuff he's got an art station so artstation.com slash nixel nixel underscore cho he's got a twitter where i follow him he's he's really really cool guy uh and does amazing amazing work for this game and i apologize if it's not nixel cho or if it's nixel cho and other people i will or please let me know and i'll amend this video in the description or whatever because i do want to um you know i think it's really important to give artists the credit that they deserve uh, because they make such wonderful stuff for us i'm sort of blathering on a little bit here i'm, I'm sort of dragging this on because there's one more thing, and I'm hide, I'm sort of hiding it with my camera. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you now. So, again, this might not seem like much, and it might just be the key art, but rarely do they show stuff in the key art that's not actually in the game. So I think that I think the artists would have been careful to not illustrate the characters in a way that would be misleading to the players. Anyways, I'm assuming that's the case, right? But if you take a look in the bottom left hand corner where my camera was, you're wondering where my beautiful mug went. There's something more beautiful there. It's Maker's horribly deformed, stretchy body. Because as we covered in the Maker video, he doesn't actually have any organs. He just has like a bacterial sac that provides him with energy. He doesn't need to eat, sleep, defecate. He's, he's truly a horror from beyond this world. And he's stretching out like one. He looks like a serpent or some sort of like twisty Twizzler type thing. Uh, definitely not something that Sue would want to have anything to do with in its current form. So I'm really excited about that, <laughs> as weird as that sounds, because if that's how they're drawing him, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm not, I'm not holding them to this, but hopefully they will be animating him in the game like that. Because I do want to see that sort of eldritch horror stretch show that we got in the comics. The devs have been amazing at bringing to life characters with specific comic book panels that I've sometimes been able to guess. And I want to give you guys a couple of examples that tie in pretty closely to uh, Mr. Fantastic. The most notable one is Medusa, right? Because a lot of the same animations for the stretching of her hair is going to be something that they can maybe copy and paste or at least draw off of to make some animations for um, Mr. Fantastic Maker. And this one in particular, I believe, is from... I think her fourth skill and her fifth skill is from a specific comic panel. This one specifically. I think I remember talking about that in a video. The second part of her fourth skill, where this, where the hair comes up from the ground like spikes. And they actually use it again. And th that's actually from the comics as well. And then it's there again, but she sends it down in a line. Rather than it just being like a circle. And I honestly, I think the fifth skill is also from comics. But the beginning of the sixth skill, especially if you turn on the SFX... That's why I'm really excited for Maker, man. Because if there's some cool SFX like this for Maker, oh, bud, he's going to be like the, the sickest character to play. The absolute sickest character to play. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I, I have to say, I, I really am. Now, another thing I want to talk about briefly is Professor X. 
there is quite a lot of speculation in the community about whether he's going to be a uh, bot, like it's going to be a buff for him and he's going to be a, a stronger version of Professor X, Charles, or if he's going to turn into a um, support for X-Men. My opinion is it doesn't really matter. I think he is good enough now to serve a purpose. I don't think they're necessarily going to make this uniform worse for PvE just to make him a support type character like Nick Fury or another you know specifics like luke cage or whatever jessica jones they're not gonna they wouldn't nerf him just to make him a support right so i think at the very least he's going to be as good for pve plus he'll have all these support buffs which will make him a much better leadership or support for magneto for rogue for gambit for cable yeah we have a lot of really amazing mutants already so there's that on top of the fact that they're again they're not going to make him worse right they, they know they're not, they know they're not going to sell the uniform if they make him worse just to make him a support character so he'll be as good if not way better uh which means he'll still be usable for content for tons of content in the game so i'm not really sweating it at all uh, i can't wait to see what they do and how they um you know interpret it but uh I, i'm just really excited and this key art just looks absolutely gorgeous so hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think of Maker. Let me know what you think of Superior Iron Man and Professor X. I didn't really talk too much about Tony because he's kind of just standing there with the repulsor blasts ready. But uh, yeah, let me know which one of the three you think looks the coolest and what other surprises might be in store for us tonight. Oh, yes, by the way, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. So I'll just splice this in at the beginning of the video as well. Tonight is the live stream, the Facebook live stream that's also on YouTube with Cage and Kim. We will be watching it on twitch so stop by twitch.tv slash cynic alex and check it out with us because you'll get the double whammy you actually get the triple whammy you get to watch the live stream you get to hear my irreverent comedy and, and commentary and then you also get the chat's input as well so hundreds of not hundreds of thousands thousands of people and me and cajun and kim it's the total package baby hit us up can't wait to see you there tonight and uh yeah in the meantime i'll be impatiently waiting for this awesome update to land thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care